Hey everyone, it's May 17th. Just going to do my uh, trade recap. I took two trades, uh, XGTI, which was from the watch list. Uh, I'll get into that here first. I was watching it pre-market. I was figuring it was really going to start running uh, pre-market and uh, wasn't going to be able to get a good entry on it. Uh, I ended up these are uh, this is the pre-market high right here so I had a stop limit order set for the break I had it set for 220 with a limit of 223 just to make sure I was gonna get uh, get in it uh, in hindsight I should have bought on a dip instead on this pre-market uh, support uh, I didn't I kind of like to play the breakout I figured this was gonna instantly squeeze up um, took quite a few shares on this uh, so I'm I got in it pulled back but it's still holding this support so I'm not getting too scared or anything I'm not gonna get scared out of the trade because it's fir first thing in the morning I mean uh, it's pretty really volatile uh, this is also a really choppy stock to begin with so uh, I was kind of prepared for that <clears throat> so it uh, it basically triple bottomed here uh, actually more than that quite a few times here it kept touching bottom touching bottom touching bottom so I was I was pretty confident that it was going to uh, continue higher almost considered uh, adding to this uh, to this dip here I didn't I just decided just to hold what I had because it's it's it, it's hard to say with these like this is a complete piece of garbage as as I'm sure you know what happened later on in the day but uh, <clears throat> uh, as soon as it started kind of coming up it came up really quick uh, I sold into this push here just to kind of get out uh, I didn't have too much faith in it uh, to be quite honest uh, I was kind of glad just to just to get out um, and good thing because it didn't really do too much the rest of the day as you take a look at it uh, now uh, selling off and we all know the reason the same reason all of these stocks end up getting jacked up in price so that they can sell into it but anyways my uh my second trade I'm very very happy with this pulm trade um uh directly directly from the watch list uh a good 20 percent winner um i'll show you my entry here my computer's acting a little funny today. Seems to be lagging quite a bit. But uh, I got in for, uh, because I was watching it, uh, what I wanted to see here was the uh, the bounce off of this support area here. Uh, we got it perfectly. So as soon as it kind of started uh, looking a little green, I was really watching it. And then I wanted to find a, a nice entry and uh, I got a, a really nice entry on it right here at uh, at red to green uh, I believe I got in let me see here at 41 yeah I got executed at 41 uh, sold half on this push and then uh, just kind of let it let it do its thing uh, as soon as it kind of started coming back and it, it's breaking VWAP here I just sold the the remaining half I didn't really care I I made uh, more than enough on it I was very happy but now look at it <laughs> so I, I definitely sold too soon but I don't really trust this even though it's up on news uh, it doesn't sound like there's an actual written agreement I think they're just talking but I mean I could be wrong with it a lot of that news I don't read too much into it uh, just for the fact that a lot of it is bullshit and uh, kind of read the between the lines type of news but this would have been an amazing hold um, you know as soon as it started squeezing up my first thoughts were it was gonna go to three and I maybe I should have I should have kind of held on to it or at least sold uh, uh, held on to the remaining half because that's what I usually do I sell half on the first big push and then I set my stop for break even and I let the rest ride for the rest of the day um, and then on these type of spikes I'll sell another I don't know quarter or ten percent of the position whatever just to kind of pay myself along the way uh, so I, I definitely kind of fucked up on that I should have done that but whatever it, it was still I'm still very happy with the trade left lots on the table but 
is what it is. Very happy with the call. It's a pretty easy, predictable call as well. A, a nice bounce off support because, I mean, if you look at this, this thing has been slowly selling off for, you know, a, a couple months uh, since the last pop. So usually they come down a lot quicker, kind of like this or even like this. So um, this one was taking a long time. So I figured once it once it hit that support area, we were going to get a really nice bounce. And that's what we did. And I wouldn't be surprised if we get a continuation like this. Maybe not so much all of this, but we might get, you know, uh, a few cents. If it can get over this area, this 345, 350 area, it it could easily run. And I mean, it's been a while since this has ran. It's ran before in the past. So it would be nice to get uh, to get a nice a nice move on it. We have uh, twelve percent uh, short percentage of the float, so there's there's quite a few uh, shorts in it. Uh, so I mean, we we start pushing up to these levels here, and uh, we could get some nice shorts covering. Uh, I think if we got another, uh, especially if it just broke this level, it's hard to say. If I was a short, I'd probably be covering some of that position if I was in here. You don't want to give away too uh, too much of your profits, right? But uh, that that's all I really have. I only took the two trades. Uh, both were green. Both were good. Today was a good day. I'm um, continuing on with a uh, uh, really, uh, really good streak here. <clears throat> Um, oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to touch on here. Uh, the reason why I thought it was going to go to three was because of the uh, uh, the 50 SMA here. You can see over in this corner, um, and it almost hit that and then pulled back. So I, I am expecting this to go higher, and if it, especially if it breaks the three dollar mark, which is where the 50 SMA is. We're definitely going to get a move higher. So I would look for a continuation. I would not be holding it uh, very long because you never know what these companies. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> but yeah, that's that's all I really have to say. Really good day. I hope everyone else banked. I kind of missed the, uh, the boat on CETX, but I was watching these other plays. Uh, I'm not too too concerned about it. You miss plays all the time. You just got to kind of wrap your fucking head around it and deal with it. Um, would CETX have been a better play? Maybe. Yeah, I, it probably would have. It was a pretty powerful move today. But uh, shit happens, right? Can't be uh, can't be getting pissed off when you're green on the day and you're you're up a, a bunch of fucking cash pulling it out of the market and you're you know you're upset that you missed a play. That's kind of silly. So, uh, you know, you always got to try and be positive and just think of the, uh, the positive aspects and the, uh, the positive things that happen in the market and uh, keep that head clear. Don't let it uh, get all jumbled up and bunged up by uh, a bunch of negativity. There's a bunch of negativity out there, so you don't need that shit. So don't let your head fuck with you and keep on keeping on. Thanks, guys.